open up and welcome back at your Feel Good Breakfast Show. This is Expresso on S3. And I'm so excited about this because, I mean, Jamie Lee and I, a little earlier, were chatting to the people behind Barakat, but it's good to find out a bit more from the cast. And we're going to start off with somebody who is a veteran on the stage, someone who's a screen actress who is beloved by the entire nation and uh, by me, definitely. Uh, and, of course, we have somebody who is also loved by me. He's a multi-talented actor, singer, comedian, bestie. And they're both lending their talents to the star-studded cast of the critically acclaimed Muslim Afrikaans film, Barakat. So please welcome by video call, Vinet Ibrahim, as well as in studio, Kino Lee Hector. Welcome, Enza. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Thank yes, you. Yes, man. Thanks so, for having me. So, Vinet, I know that you are joining us on video call. It is so lovely to finally chat to you. All I've done is watch you all my life. Right. Thank you so very much for having me. And just before we say anything, I just want to tell you guys, I'm so sorry, but I'm still tucked up in bed. As by a fruit. Uh, must be nice, <laughs> must eh? Must be nice. Do uh, not shade so early in the morning. Yo, okay, it's, <laughs> it's fine. So while you're snuggling, I want to ask you just one little thing. I mean, you're a beloved South African yeah. who is playing this fantastic matriarchal figure. And this is a matriarch who is stepping into her own in this film within a grieving family. So what has the journey of portraying Aisha David's been for you? Um, well, it's been... What a journey, what a journey. Um, personally and also in terms of, of the whole journey of, um, you know, of uh, Aisha as well. Look, she, she's um, the matriarch of the family, as you correctly said. Yeah. And um, she goes on this, this journey of, it, it's loneliness. It's a mother who is lonely because her children have all grown up and they have left the, the nest, much like myself. And um, she, uh, she's found love eventually again. And now to broach the subject with her grown up children. And it's, it's like, a, you know, when you have grown up children and you need to tell them something really, really personal, kids, Kids are kids, it doesn't matter how old they are. Hulle skop die nie kaar, het maak nie saak hoe nie. Maak nie saak hoe oud hulle is nie. They are like, they are like five-year-olds when it comes to their mother <laughs> being, um, you know, having to do something which they don't like. They just, um, they don't like it. They just don't like it. It doesn't matter whether it's good for her or not. They just, they are like absolute they're like tin soldiers. You have to explain <laughs> everything to them, you know. So um, yeah, this was true. the journey of Aisha. And um, yeah, and my boys were exactly the same. But it was a beautiful journey. Oh, that's, that's gorgeous to hear. And I mean, there's no better communicator than a good barakat. I understand. For sure. It yeah. is like that, eh? Kina, I'm sure you are having FOMO right now. You could have still been stuck in bed, but you're here with us on your Feel Good Breakfast show. Was, can you just bring <laughs> me that blanket? You clearly didn't get the memo, right? But take us through your journey. We, we're listening to Akola Auntie Vanetras because she raised us. Yes. Um, but weirdly, us sorry, oh. weirdly enough, uh, she is my Auntie Vanet. Uh, she's known me since I was a kid. Our families have been friends since forever. Um, yes. Auntie Vinette's mother, I call her my last remaining grandparent. Oh, That's wow. how close our families are. Aww. So that must, be, cool. must have been yeah. even more special, being able to work with her, knowing her from growing up, and then now creating this film, a very unique one. Tell us about that journey. Well, she, um, <laughs> she, uh, Vinette gave me my first professional job. I was actually still at school. It was, I was in a show that she directed called Rainbow and the Moon Princess. I was not the Moon Princess. <laughs> I, I'm disappointed to hear that. Neither was I Rainbow, but I did wear, <laughs> I did wear a Lycra catsuit. So that was a long time ago. Lycra catsuit, you were yes. the tree. Yeah, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> the question is not whether I will wear a Lycra catsuit, but it's whether you want to see me in one. You know, wow. that's, that's the question. But like shooting a movie like this, yeah. it, it's like coming home. It's, it's literally shot in the area that I grew up in. Um, one of the scenes was in my grandparents' driveway. What? Which is crazy. So, yeah, the road that we yeah. were in about 200 meters down the road yes. is the house that my mother grew up in. And oh, wow, they asked man. me one day, they were like, we need a driveway, you know, anyone in the area? I was like, 
Hmm. Actually, <laughs> uh, let me think. Uh, how far do you want to go from sit? <laughs> and yeah, so so it was quite a bit of a, a homecoming, a, 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 a sort of a full circle moment to be speaking Afrikaans in a movie um, made by a sort of sector of the film industry that's yeah. relatively uh, underrepresented. Um, so I think for me it was it was amazing. It just just felt like home from the first day. And I mean, you can tell the way the characters have taken on their respective roles, there's a lot of conviction because it, it feels like it's real. So, Vinette, from your side, um, the film was shot mm. in Athlone, Gatesville and surrounding Cape Flats areas. Yeah. Uh, what is it like being able to depict these parts of the Cape Flats that are rarely seen in South African films, but in such a beautiful way in Barakat? Well, for me, it was, um, it was like coming home, you know, because a lot of those places were like... Um, when we were younger, we used to jolly, you know, it was yes, yeah. like uh, um, <laughs> the, gold <laughs> uh, the golden dish and, and, and um, um, Gatesville and Rylands and Athlone and Lansdowne. I mean, if you grew up in Claremont, which, which I did and, and um, down the road, you know, anybody who grew up in Claremont and Lansdowne, that's, that's where we used to go. Those were where the house parties were, you know, so it was <laughs> fabulous to um to go back there and the memories and and just um ah oh, it was amazing and i think just to be part of of the community again was for me um amazing and it just helped to to feed into um like who we were and and what we were what we were doing you know um because i think also um what amy and ephraim correctly did was they they actually made the community almost like another character mm -hmm. and that fed into what it was that we were doing you know beautiful kinana I have to say this as well. I can't believe that you came here after Eid on Friday and you didn't bring me and call Barakat. Because yeah. that's all. When I saw the script today, I was like, he's going to bring us issue. Barakat. Like, you celebrated this weekend. How did you celebrate, by the way? Um, well, uh, my family were all together. I, unfortunately, because Eid was supposed to be on Thursday, yes. I'd gotten Thursday off from all my respective jobs. <laughs> and then it wasn't on Thursday, yeah. and then I had to work on Friday. So, <laughs> so I missed out a lot on a lot of the Eid lunch. But I, I I got, I got my own barakat afterwards, so mm. I'm sorry. The cream would have gone off, guys. I'm uh, sorry. It's okay. I'm so Don't worry about it. would have still been lacquer in the <laughs> fridge at least. <laughs> sorry, sorry, guys. Well, it's, it's okay. You know, one thing that's not going to go fraught is the fact that this movie is going to be incredible. You can celebrate the authentic representation of South African culture in film. You can catch Barakat, which is currently screening yeah. in cinemas nationwide and in your Tupperware. There's nothing better than curling up on the couch like Finette, clearly. <laughs> and watching a movie <laughs> with some warm blankets and of course, delicious buttercut in hand. Please enjoy this movie. It's about culture and it's about local movie excellence. Do enjoy it.